Welcome back, friends. Today, we are going to be working on our RZT-50 again. Uh, it worked great for the majority of the cutting season. Uh, we're about in the, I guess, middle of the cutting season. And I was starting to get a shutter when the left side drive started getting hot. So I did some research on the internet and I didn't make a video on how to take this off. Uh, uh, somebody else did a video on how to do that, but I'll, I'll put that little link in the description. Um, but what I did today was get this off and I've got the, the, the drive gear. It maybe took me uh, 45 minutes, less than an hour to get it off. So that's pretty good. Uh, and it was fairly straightforward. Uh, this bolt, that bolt, don't forget the parking brake linkage. I forgot that and had to get that back on there. And the handle linkage there. And there's two crossbars that come across that connect it to the other hydro gear. So I had to pull those out. But this plug, a lot. I've, I've read a lot of people and talked to a lot of people that this plug right here is what they're taking off that vent to refill the fluid in there or to check the fluid. Um, but this is the actual plug that that you need to, to take out. Now this was not just hand tightened in there. I actually had to persuade it a little bit with my miniature persuasion tool. So you know I just kind of stuck it in there like that and then and then tap 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 lightly. You know don't get too aggressive with it because it's just an aluminum housing and a, a little shallow Allen wrench hole. So but it came out. It did come out. So. Um, so we're going to unthread that and you can see down in there, there's some, some oil. So let's take and see if we can dump this out. Oh yeah, that looks disgusting. So I'm going to let this drain upside down for a while. I didn't get the, the mower super hot because you know you're working right by the exhaust and and this gets so hot you can't hardly touch it so what I might do is while I've got it apart and and up is go ahead and uh, take the other side off and change that oil too while I'm in here but this looks terrible uh, you can see it's just a a nasty gray mess so the instructions I downloaded I found online, I downloaded the uh, instructions for this gear and you're supposed to fill it, I think, uh, fill it up until it's about an inch from the top of the, the drain plug hole there. So I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can figure that out and it said to use 2050 motor oil so I'm going to try that out too. So let's, let's see. Oh yeah, still got plenty coming out of there. Yeah, that looks terrible. We're going to try this first. If this works, great. If not, well, we, we had to replace the drive anyways. And I don't know if I'm going to put that much money into this. Uh, I, think, I think the drives are $500, $600. And if you take it to a shop and have them put it in, probably another couple hundred dollars worth of labor. So... $800 on a $2,000 mower. I don't think so. <laughs> so anyways, uh, we'll get back with you in just a little bit and see how it's going. Alright guys, we got the oil drained out and you can see it was pretty scuzzy looking. There was a little bit of black crap left in there, but it's mostly nasty looking gray stuff that came out of here. So, I uh, got this. I'm just going to start slowly pouring some wool in here. Um, I did want to mention these flow tool. I think it's flow tool. Yeah. This right here, flow tool, makes this super funnel. Uh, this is the multi-purpose super funnel, but they also make a smaller one. I love these funnels. Um, got, got them in all the sizes. Uh, get one, try it out. I know uh, my advanced auto parts sells them. I'm sure most of the auto parts stores sell them. So um, we're just going to start pouring some oil down in here and seeing what happens. 
it's kind of backing up on me because I don't have a vent. Looks like it's taking it pretty slow too, so I guess keep that in mind when you fill these things up. All right, we got oil filled into here, and uh, I looked and there was a little, I just kind of guesstimated, I didn't even measure, it looks about like an inch. Uh, and I, I think I forgot to tell you earlier, it's a, a quarter inch Allen wrench, so one quarter of an inch Allen wrench, and uh, it took exactly uh, one and a half quarts, so that's probably what yours would take too. So now we're just going to try put this thing back together and there's a a bleed down procedure that you need to do on this once you get it installed. Uh, you take the, the the neutral lever which is this and uh, there's a little lever that you pull in front of the uh, hydro gear that actually um, disengages the output and uh, and it allows the uh, the gear to run and purge all the air out so you need to do that I think it's forward and backwards like five times with it in neutral and uh, then you can drop it into gear there and take off so we're gonna try that out so let's see if we can get this back in um, and I'll get back with you in a minute Check this out, guys. We got the RZT50 back on its all fours here. Got new inner tubes in these rear tires. They were leaking a little bit of air. Maybe once a week had to add air to it. So I went ahead and put a little bit into those tubes and got that going. Got the, the hydro gear back underneath of the left side. Went ahead while I had it apart, put a new deck belt on it and a new drive belt because, uh, you know, everything was tore apart already. The old drive belt was glazed and cracked, so I figured might as well change that while we're in here troubleshooting because it could have been loading up on this side and might not have been getting good tension. I'm not sure. The new belt was probably a good half of an inch shorter, so it put a lot more tension on everything. I'm hoping that's what it was and the oil you saw the oil that came out of it put new 20w50 motor oil anything above an SL is what the uh, maintenance manual said so went ahead and put new oil in there and everything is working great so hopefully it'll hold up our next project's gonna be go ahead and change the oil in the right side uh, we haven't done anything with that yet, but as easy as it is to take this thing off, we might as well go ahead and do it while it's fresh in my brain on how to do it and exactly what tools I need. Really, it's not many tools at all. It comes right apart. So, Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'm glad this little project worked out. Hopefully, it'll help you in the future.